American. Be careful now. The Atlantic is coming on you. They want to tell the ocean where to stop. He angry with you. He will not stop the ocean anymore. Who stops the ocean? Who tells the ocean where to stop? Who tells the oceans where to stop? There is a storm coming to hit the Atlantic. Who tells the oceans where to stop? I have seen a massive flood. No, no, okay. uh, King. I've seen a massive flood touch Florida and I warn you down there over sexual sin. I have seen you looking for your children in not good places. Now I speak to the Atlantic Ocean again. I speak to the ocean that the Lord created today. Listen to me, Atlantic Ocean. And your waves shall fail to stop until they repent. And it shall be known that Jehovah is God. I am warning the United States. Nina onya by Marakani. There is a big storm from the Atlantic. Kuna windi kubwa sana kutoka Atlantic. Bigger than the Katrina. Kubwa kuliko Katrina. Coming through the Gulf of Mexico. Inapitia katika zile ziwa za Mexico. The Gulf. Inapitia katika pwani ya Mexico. Tremendous flood. Ma magarika makubwa. I've seen thousands and millions running Kime away. Kimeona ma elfu na mimilioni wasas. There is a big storm coming into the United States of America. Kuna windi kubwa. I have seen a mighty new storm. Nimeona windi kubwa sana jipya. I have seen a massive storm Na nimeona windi kubwa sana That is coming through the Gulf of Mexico to hit the United States Ambayo inakuja kupitia pwani ya Mexico ikigonga kwa jimbo la Marekani Tremendous storm A windi kubwa sana Another big storm is coming on to the United States of America from the Atlantic Ocean. A lot of floods. The Lord is calling for repentance. I see the United States of America. Naona America. I see Florida. Naona Florida. I see massive floods. Naona mafuriko makuu. I see tall buildings absorbed by water. Naona michanga kuu ikizamishwa na maji. Listen to me the Atlantic Ocean. Sikiliza bwana bahari ya Atlantic. The voice of the Lord is over the water. Sauti ya bwana iko juu ya maji. Who tells the ocean where to stop? Naona Every morning, Kila asubuhi, how come you have sinned against him? Who will tell the ocean this time? Nani atam, bahari wakati huu? Where to stop? I can see he failed to tell the ocean. Naona, bahari. I can see because of your sinful ways. Naona, kwa sababu ya, ya jia senyu za I can see that he has not told the ocean. Naona, where to stop? Tremendous floods. I 
also seen the east coast of United States. Nimeona tapani ya mashariki ya Amerika. All the way to New York City. Kuelekea kule New York. But there was a massive flood. Kulikuwa na 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 nagarika kuu. That came from the Atlantic Ocean. Na baada ilitoka katika Atlantic Ocean. I see tall buildings completely submerged. Naona mijengo mirefu ikizamishwa kabisa. And the Lord took me under the water. Na bwana akanipeleka chini ya maji. And I saw the big homes. Na nikaona miji kuu. I saw dead bodies. Niliona maiti. I see dead bodies floating over water. Ninaona maiti yakielea in the east coast of the United States Chef. and they shall know na watajua that the mouth of the Lord has spoken kwa makinyo cha Bwana kimeneno see blood ninaona mafuriko who tell the ocean Where to stop every morning? I want you America. I want the east coast of America. I see floods coming to you. I see the Atlantic Ocean. I see an extensive area. Stop my under water. Coming from the Atlantic Ocean. Coming right into the east coast of America. Listen to me Atlantic Ocean. In your kangawa Atlantic Ocean and your wave shall fail to stop. Until they repent. And it shall be known. That Jehovah is God. Who tells the oceans where to stop? There is a storm coming to hit the Atlantic. Be careful now. The Atlantic is coming on you. This has been the Atlantic Ocean. The voice of the Lord is over the water. Who tells the oceans where to stop? Every morning because of your sinful ways I can see that he has not told the ocean where to stop right now I am warning the United States there is a big storm from the Atlantic repent they shall know that the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Listen to me, Atlantic Ocean. And your waves shall fail to stop until they repent. And it shall be known that Jehovah is God.
Hurricane Irene, a huge storm impacting millions of people along the coast. Hurricane Irene is moving in for what could be the most powerful hurricane to hit the East Coast in seven years. It is chaos along the Jersey Shore. The sign outside First Baptist Church says it all. Everyone is welcome. Everyone is equal in God's eyes. A belief pastor Dorothy Whiston says is the main reason the church decided to allow same-sex couples to marry here. We see love as valued by God, whoever it's between.
Gay marriage supporters have a new reason to celebrate. The Presbyterian Church USA just paved the way for same-sex couples to get married. It was up to regional districts to then vote on the change. More than half voted yes, making the denomination the largest Protestant group to recognize same-sex marriage as Christian. This isn't the first groundbreaking action taken by the church. In 2011, the denomination voted to allow gay ministers to be ordained. I think that we're always moving towards openness and more inclusion. It's what we're called to by Christ, is to welcome the outcast. Paul Mowry, one of the first openly gay ministers to be ordained, spoke to MSNBC after that change was made. The Presbyterian Church will go forward with its new definition of marriage at the start of summer. Who are the women who obtain abortions in the United States? You might be surprised. Almost one out of every three American women will have an abortion by age 45. Three out of four women who have abortions describe themselves as religiously affiliated. Catholic women have abortions at about the same rate as women overall. Each second, 28,258 internet users view pornography and spend $3,075. In the United States, a new pornographic video is created every 39 minutes. In California alone, the industry employs over 12,000 people. Roughly two-thirds of young men and one-half of young women agree that viewing pornography is acceptable. Halloween takes place on the 31st of October. Halloween is the second highest grossing commercial holiday. Americans spend $6 billion on Halloween every year. Halloween started about 2,000 years ago. The holiday originated from the Celtic festival of Samhain. The darker, colder months that followed were associated with death by the Celts.
God is a serious God. And I want Americans. Be careful now. The Atlantic is coming on you. The one that used to stop the Atlantic. The person that stops the ocean. The one that tells the ocean where to stop. He's angry with you. He will not stop the ocean anymore. He's bigger than the Asian tsunami. And I saw so much destruction. to stop who tells the oceans where to stop there is a storm coming to hit the Atlantic the Lord showed me the beaches all the way to North America nudity women magazines naked everything who tells the oceans where to stop God is a serious God there is a storm coming to hit the Atlantic the Lord showed me the beaches all the way to North America. Nudity, women magazines naked, everything. Who stops the ocean? Who tells the ocean where to stop? Who tells the oceans where to stop? Hurricane Katrina has devastated Gulf Coast states in America, forced mass evacuations, left thousands dead, and a country in shock. Buildings have collapsed. There are reports from New Orleans of uh, people trapped in buildings that have come down around them. 
This is CNN Breaking News. We're talking about a storm that is impacting at the at this very minute four different states along the Gulf Coast. We're going all the way from Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. The eye of Hurricane Katrina bear down on Biloxi, Mississippi. Hurricane Katrina nears its third landfall. Worst fears realize tonight entire towns have been wiped out around Gulfport, Mississippi. A local mayor says this is our tsunami. Underwater, here in New Orleans tonight, over 80% of the city is flooded. The death toll, 61,000. The injured and sick, 380,000. The homeless, half a million. Half a million buildings destroyed. Well, we're in the lobby here of our hotel. We're completely underwater. This first store here, there's uh, chairs floating by. We're currently on the second floor. The surge chases people up the stairs. In homes across the city, the water forces people to move to higher floors. the beaches all the way to North America. Nudity, women magazines, naked, everything.
Whether or not you believe in magic, there is no denying that the voodoo spirit is very much alive in New Orleans. And what better place to catch the spell than the historic voodoo museum? This is the first room of the voodoo museum. Okay. It tells you about voodoo dolls. Tell me a little bit about them. I am very curious about them. Oh my. The voodoo doll is used to fight spirits. So it's for protection? Yes. Or to make someone do something for you. the oceans where to stop God is a serious God there is a storm coming to hit the Atlantic the Lord showed me the beaches all the way to North America nudity, women magazines naked, everything who stops the ocean who tells the ocean where to stop who tells the oceans where to stop the ocean who tells the ocean where to stop who tells the oceans where to stop there is a storm coming to hit the Atlantic who tells the oceans where to stop God is a serious God there is a storm coming to hit the Atlantic The damage here along the Gulf Coast is catastrophic. There's a frantic effort underway tonight to find survivors. There are an uncounted number of the dead tonight. Looting was everywhere. In a city with no basic human services, there is little police can do. Today, we found the body of a dead man on a street corner. Mother Nature, we're just going to deal with it. It's all we have. the ocean who tells the ocean where to stop who tells the oceans where to stop there is a storm coming to hit the Atlantic the Lord showed me the beaches all the way to North America nudity women magazines naked everything who tells the oceans where to stop God is a serious God there is a storm coming to hit the Atlantic.
Right now, I am warning the United States. There is a big storm from the Atlantic. Bigger than the Katrina. Coming through the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf. And coming and oh hallelujah. Tremendous flood. I've seen thousands and millions running away. Time is out for the church. Majira ya mebadilika. Let us repent. And go back to Jesus. There is a big storm coming into the United States of America. I have seen a mighty new storm. And the Lord spoke with me. The pain of his heart. At the evil nature of man. The And I've seen a massive storm that is coming through the Gulf of Mexico to hit the United States. Tremendous storm.
also seen the east coast of United States. Nimeona ta pwani ya mashariki ya America all the way to New York City. Kuelekea kule New York but there was a massive flood. Kulikuwa na 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 nagarika kuu that came from the Atlantic Ocean. Ambayo ilitoka katika Atlantic Ocean. I see tall buildings completely submerged. Naona mijengo mirefu ikisamishwa kabisa. And the Lord took me under the water. Na Bwana akanipeleka chini ya maji. And I saw the big homes. Na nikaona miji kuu. And he said warn these people. Akaniambia waonye watu hawa. Tell them to repent in Christ Jesus. Wambie wakatubu kwa Kristo Yesu. The season has changed. Tell these people to prepare the way for the rapture. I saw dead bodies. The type of dead bodies. The type I saw before the Katrina. I see dead bodies floating over water. In the east coast of the United States. America. So time is out. And they shall know that the mouth of the Lord has spoken from the eastern part of the nation that bears the name Kenya. Time has changed.
Hurricane Irene, a huge storm impacting millions of people along the coast. Hurricane Irene is moving in for what could be the most powerful hurricane to hit the East Coast in seven years. Hurricane Irene has unleashed itself on the east coast of America. Ferocious winds and torrential rain left at least 11 dead and 3 million people without power. This is going to be a huge rainmaker hurricane. And right now, Irene is posing an extreme threat for the mid-Atlantic coast and the northeastern seaboard. The monster category 2 storm is expected to roar ashore in North Carolina sometime tonight. This still is a powerful, powerful storm. This could be, we're just say, stressing, could be, David, a catastrophic event. High alert this morning as 65 million Americans prepare for Hurricane Irene and some of the biggest cities in the country, including New York, remain directly in her path today. The winds here in Westbrook keep getting stronger and stronger, and as they do, the water keeps getting closer and closer to land, and the waves are breaking harder and harder against the seawall here. ERI 12. This is Eyewitness News This Morning. Coverage you can count on. Eyewitness News is tracking Irene this morning. The monster storm has reached land once again, bearing down on North Carolina's Outer Bank. Right now, Irene is posing an extreme threat for the mid-Atlantic coast and the northeastern seaboard. taste of Irene at about 6 o'clock this morning and she's only intensified since then. So we've actually got our first real damage report here of the morning. We're in Belmar and look in front you can see we've got parts of the boardwalk that have come up that have now made their way onto the street. We're actually going to be very careful. This is the storm surge that hit southern New England. It was 6 to 9 feet from Connecticut to the eastern tip of Massachusetts. We just had a wind gust here of 71 miles an hour, according to Southampton Town Police. On Long Beach, Long Island, a lifeguard tower was swept away waves crashed onto shorelines and flooded coastal suburbs. We are witnessing history. Rarely before has a hurricane barreled forward with so many major American cities in her path. Irene is roaring up the East Coast tonight. The hurricane's eye is moving into Virginia. You're looking live at Nangshead, North Carolina, pummeling that region all day. Irene is very large, very slow, swirling over some cities for 12 to 18 hours straight. 10 inches of rain already have fallen on North Carolina. Many areas bracing for storm surges of 10 feet. And at this hour, at least four people have died. More than 750,000 have lost power. 2.3 million have been ordered to evacuate. Hurricane Irene exploded into North Carolina today as a Category 1 hurricane, blasting wind and rain. 
so powerful that it knocked this church steeple on its side and ripped roofing tiles and shingles from buildings. And those fierce winds piling up tremendous amounts of water. Look at the waves in Palomenco Sound, normally flat, now swallowing a house and this boat. Take a look at this. One of the state's major arteries now cracked like an eggshell for several hundred feet, making getting from point A to point B virtually impossible, leaving thousands stranded across the state. And it's easy to see what happened when floodwaters rushed across roadways like this. The weight of the water was simply too much, causing the roads to collapse. Hurricane Irene is moving in and people along the East Coast are moving out. The first watches and warnings went up today for what could be the most powerful hurricane to hit the East Coast in seven years. Hurricane Irene has unleashed itself on the East Coast of America. Hurricane Irene has struck parts of the U.S. East Coast. America's East Coast continues to be battered and Hurricane Irene is far from finished. Another big storm is coming on to the United States of America from the Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic. A lot of floods. The Lord is calling for repentance.
have also seen the east coast of United States. Nimeona ta pwani ya mashariki ya America. All the way to New York City. Kuelekea kule New York. But there was a massive flood. Kulikuwa na 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 nadharika kuu that came from the Atlantic Ocean. Ambayo ilitoka katika Atlantic Ocean. I see tall buildings completely submerged. Naona mijengo mirefu ikisamishwa kabisa. And the Lord took me under the water. Na Bwana akanipeleka chini ya maji. And I saw the big homes. Na nikaona miji kuu. And he said warn these people. Akaniambia waonye watu hawa. Tell them to repent in Christ Jesus. Wambie wakatubu kwa Kristo Yesu. The season has changed. Majira yamebadilika. Tell these people Ambia hawa watu to prepare the way for the rapture. Waandae njia kwa kunyakuliwa. I saw dead bodies. Niliona ma- maiti. The type of dead bodies. Mi- maiti ambayo the type I saw before the Katrina. Maiti kama yale niliona kabla ya Katrina. I see dead bodies floating over water. Ninaona maiti yakielea kujua ya maji. In the east coast of the United States. Kule kwa Japan ya Mashariki Your so time is out. And they shall know that the mouth of the Lord has spoken. From the eastern part of the nation that bears the name Kenya. Kutoka mashariki mwa nchi inayoitwa Kenya. Time has changed. Kenya kati zimebadilika. Sandy crashing on shore, winds now at 90 miles per hour, and this storm is so big, so vast, 60 million Americans will feel its power. From ABC News, live in Times Square, this is a special edition of Good Morning America, The Perfect Storm. 
The storm has taken many lives, at least 16 so far. There is so much devastation. We're essentially inside the storm, Diane. It is just to our south. We're easily getting into some of the worst gusts, 60 to even 74 miles per hour. That threshold of hurricane force, one of the worst storms that has ever hit Atlantic City. This city is basically underwater. Water from the ocean, water from the bays, it is everywhere. It is chaos along the Jersey Shore. The superstorm battering the barrier islands. In the crosshairs, Atlantic City. The road into the seafront town is completely submerged. Damage started early. Massive chunks of boardwalk littering the streets. Street after avenue after cul-de-sac inundated. You gotta take a look at this. All the winds have picked up and this is what happens. The great like pieces of the boardwalk have come for three blocks. That's the ocean back there. Huge waves crashing up and over. Do you see that one? Pushing ocean water. The storm is on top of us right now. And it's only going to get worse during the next high tide. The East Coast is being pummeled with the power of a record-breaking superstorm. Oh my God, it's washing everything away! 90 mile per hour winds, driving rain, record-breaking high tides, and rough surf lash the coastline as the storm made landfall in southern New Jersey. The mid-Atlantic and southern New England shores hit hard by flooding. Water lapping at the doors and sea foam piled up high on the boardwalk in Seaside Heights. Storm Sandy continues her devastating journey after she made landfall in South New Jersey. 50 million people were impacted by the superstorm, the convergence of three weather systems as it slammed the most populated part of America. A levee in New Jersey was breached overnight, and we understand now an entire town is underwater. People are climbing on the roofs of their mobile homes, waiting for rescue. A thousand people may be affected with that one. And Sandy affecting one third of the country. Sandy's effects blasted New York City, causing damage and destruction never seen before in America's largest city. A record high tide of nearly 14 feet at the Battery, four feet higher than the previous record, brought water gushing over Battery Park City in Lower Manhattan. Over four feet of water flooded the century-old subway system, the Holland and Brooklyn Battery Tunnels, and the site of the World Trade Center. Trees, power lines, torn and tossed. The liquid fist punched through the battery, making cars, boats, flooding ground zero. Then scenes like this began. One of the city's transformers buffeted by 90 mile an hour winds and salty water, an atomic looking explosion. Brackish water stood four to eight feet deep in the city's seven main subway tunnels, shutting down almost all of the world's largest underground transit system. We're on a street. This is Front Street in Staten Island, Clifton section, right on the Narrows. We can see Lower Manhattan uh, from here. This is a tanker on the street that was just picked up and sat here as the water went out. We're about an hour and a half from high tide again. There was more water moving with more force in more directions than was ever foreseen. This is just unbelievable. We're downtown by the towers. The incredible record-setting 14-foot storm surge hit like a liquid fist, punishing Battery Park City, southern Manhattan. North Carolina has been pounded by Sandy for over 50 hours. Roads have been washed away, and this house in Rodanthe swept into pieces. Up and down the East Coast, residents were warned to stay home and take mandatory evacuation orders for low-lying areas seriously. This is not a time to be stupid. This is a time to try to save yourself and your family. Public transportation for over 12 million people was shut down in New York, Philadelphia, and Washington, D.C. And concerns don't ease after Sandy's landfall. More than a million people in 11 states are already without power, and as many as 10 million may lose electricity as the storm pushes in. United States. All the way to New York City. But there was a massive flood. 
that came from the Atlantic Ocean The East Coast reeling this morning as it absorbs the aftermath of Superstorm Sandy. The East Coast is being pummeled with the power of a record-breaking Superstorm. All the way to New York City. But there was a massive flood that came from the Atlantic Ocean. of United States all the way to New York City but there was a massive flood that came from the Atlantic Ocean That is expected in vulnerable areas like D.C., New Jersey, and New York where evacuation orders may be enforced. And the storm surge, it was mentioned once but needs to be mentioned again, six to nine foot possible in those cities you see there, Atlantic City included, New York City. This storm is going to be working through Pennsylvania, working through New York State. The storm virtually crippled one of the wealthiest and most powerful cities in the world. For the first time since 9-11, bridges and tunnels leading in and out of the city closed. that came from the Atlantic Ocean. I see tall buildings completely submerged. And the Lord took me under the water. And I saw the big homes. And he said, warn these people. Tell them to repent in Christ Jesus. canoeing through block after block but the real concern here people there are lots of people still here stuck in sandy they decided to ride the storm out people in wheelchairs we saw we saw children here and the evacuation has been going all day but they are still stuck here and they are scared because they smell gas in the air there is fuel oil and gasoline on the flood waters which extend across the town But the real job may lie below, as the surge of water has inundated the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel and the city subway system. Sir, 
And the Lord took me under the water. And I saw the big homes. And he said, warn these people. Tell them to repent in Christ Jesus. The water just kept coming, floating cars like boats and flooding the 9-11 memorial site. But the real job may lie below, as the surge of water has inundated the Brooklyn Battery Tunnel and the city subway system. The level of devastation at the Jersey Shore is unthinkable. But what made this hurricane so powerful? It's been called the perfect storm, or superstorm. To make it required unique elements, a trifecta of destruction. And if all those things weren't enough, even the moon was on Sandy's side, with an astronomical high tide delivering higher water levels than normal. And at the Pride Houston Festival, the prelude to the parade. You can just feel it. You know, you can just feel the love. Happiness fills the air. I give it 100%. I love it. I love it here. It's great. Greater still, the main event. Traveling through downtown for the first time ever. And the parade comes today after the Supreme Court's historic ruling on gay marriage, making this normally jubilant crowd all the more excited. Before the ruling, organizers were already expecting record attendance, but it appears they've got that and then some. We were already, already excited for the whole thing, but even more so now, because we're celebrating something that took forever to accomplish. Something worthy of a major party. Now we don't have a final count, but organizers were expecting this crowd to be over 75,000 strong. So far, there have been no reports of any trouble, just a lot of folks out here having a really good time. Right now, Sasa hibi. I am warning the United States. Nina onya my Marakani. There is a big storm from the Atlantic. Kuna wimbi kubwa sana kutoka Atlantic. Bigger than the Katrina. Kubwa kuliko Katrina. Coming through the Gulf of Mexico. Ina pitia katika zile ziwa za Mexico. The Gulf. Ina pitia katika pani ya Mexico. And coming and over, Hallelujah. 
tremendous flood. Magarika makubwa. I see thousands and millions running away. Time is out for the church. Wakati umekwisha kwa kanisa. Majira ya mabadiliko. Majira ya mabadiliko. Let us repent. Wacha tutubu. And go back to Jesus. Naturudi kwa Yesu. There is a big storm coming into the United States of America. Kuna wimbi kubwa sana inakuja kwa majimbo ya umoja wa Marekani. I have seen a mighty new storm. Nimeona wimbi kubwa sana jipya. And the Lord spoke with me. The pain of his heart. Ile uchungu wa moyo wake. At the evil nature of man. Na ile hali ya uovu ya mwanadamu. I've seen a massive storm Na nimeona wimbi kubwa sana That is coming through the Gulf of Mexico to hit the United States Ambayo inakuja kupitia pwani ya Mexico ikigonga kwa jimbo la Marekani Tremendous storm A wimbi kubwa sana of America, all of a sudden a phenomenon takes place. The Lord has taken me into the future, I've already lived that day. I see something like a tornado, a cloud of tornado from heaven, from above the skies, hit that soil, and I see the dust, the dust that came up and fumed like a, like a cloud, like a funnel of cloud. The explosion of that dust went up in fumes and joined with the sky fumes of dark cloud when the dust was now spewing this side and then all of a sudden water flooding water flooding i see a tornado a cloud of tornado from heaven from above the sky hit that soil and i see the dust the dust that came up and fumed like a, like a cloud 
like a funnel of cloud. And then all of a sudden, it became water flooding, water flooding, people running to the hills. And this threat consumes the land. Tonight, this is a Fox News alert. We are following three major breaking news stories. According to the National Weather Service, Texas, they're now bracing for up to 20 inches of additional rainfall after this historic and catastrophic flooding. Now, according to estimates, nine trillion gallons of water have already been dumped on the area, and some parts could see a total of 50 inches of rain. And then all of a sudden, it became water flooding, water flooding, and a lot of running. It is shocking itself because the water was coming full speed to flood everything else.
says the city is now facing an unprecedented flood event. Thousands of people are in need of rescue, including these elderly residents at this nursing home in Dickinson, about 30 miles southeast of Houston. Again this night, in the sky again, he drew again the map of America. Again today, twice in the night, by the way, he drew the map. I could see it in the sky. Then said, look, 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 over there now, in the U.S. And yesterday he spoke again of increase. He took me into their houses in the spirit. And I was in the houses and it was raining on us. So much rain was entering with wind. More than 76 centimeters of rain has fallen since Friday when Hurricane Harvey made landfall. And it hasn't stopped. The deluge is incessant. since I was here a couple hours ago. Emergency services are at breaking point, unable to cope. Emergency care people announce people get evacuated, evacuate with, with, with microphones announcing. Hey, is anybody up there who wants to go? You guys okay? Officials rescuing more than 1,000 residents. Any kids? Two kids, all right. You got the baby? But unable to get to everyone. Well, we begin this hour with Hurricane Harvey and its threat to millions of Americans in the southeast area of Texas. Mandatory evacuations are underway across the region. In Bay City, Texas, a frantic rush to evacuate the senior center. A hospital uh, in Beaumont has been forced to evacuate. There is an urgent need uh, for people to evacuate. Mandatory evacuations for 4,600 homes. A mandatory evacuation order for the city.
have seen a massive flood. No nieke eh kiwo kingi. I've seen a massive flood touch Florida and I warn you down there over sexual sin. Nenyu ni ngumuone ngumukani anundwa na hiyo la la ino da. I have seen you looking for your children in not good places. Niona mwina siana sieni muteba ndo ni baseo. Now I speak to the Atlantic Ocean again. You need to unena na ukanga wa Atlantic. I speak to the ocean that what the Lord created today. Ninene uluo kanga ngai uombie umunde. Listen to me Atlantic Ocean. Inyo kanga wa Atlantic bidukese. And your waves shall fail to stop. Itulumo sienu ni ni kumela until they repent. Baka mambole. And it shall be known. Na nime umanikana. That Jehovah is God. Kana ngai ni ngai. I see the United States of America. Naona America. I see Florida. Naona Florida. I see massive floods. Naona mafuriko makuu. I see tall buildings absorbed by water. Naona michanga kuu ikizamishwa na maji. I have seen tall buildings. Nimeona michanga mirefu. Listen to me the Atlantic Ocean. Onisikie hewa ya bahari ya Listen to me the Atlantic Ocean. Nisikilize hewa Atlantic. The voice of the Lord is over the water. Sauti ya Bwana iko juu ya maji. Who tells the oceans where to stop? Anaambia mahali mahali pa kusimamia. Every morning. Kila asubuhi. How come you have sinned against him? Inawezaje kuwa ya kwamba ametenda dhambi kwako? Who will tell the ocean this time? Nani ataonya bahari wakati huu? Where to stop? Mahali pa kusimama. I can see he failed to tell the ocean. Naona kikosa kuambia bahari I can see because of your sinful ways Naona kwa sababu ya njia zenyu za wovu I can see that he has not told the ocean Naona hakuikanya bahari Where to stop Mahali pa kusimamia Tremendous floods Oh mafuriko makubwa
Well, Hurricane Irma is currently between Cuba and the Bahamas. It's projected to hit Florida in the next two days. The storm carries winds of up to 150 miles an hour. It has already ripped through several Caribbean islands. CBS News weather producer David Parkinson joins us now with the latest. Okay, David, where is the storm going? What's the latest on the path? So the National Hurricane Center has now uh, put out that they're expecting a, a landfall uh, in the Florida Keys, and then it's going to move up the central part of the state, um, and then kind of move on off into Georgia and um, parts of Tennessee. You can see how much of a behemoth this storm is. That colorful area where you've got the tropical storm force winds, that's 500 miles across, over 500 miles across. Wow. The clouds on both sides, yeah. that reaches over 1,000 miles that's across. That's incredible. This storm is enormous, and it has only gotten larger overnight. So even as the winds have come down, the wind field has expanded. So it is no less dangerous than it was yesterday. Good evening, I'm Aaron Burnett. Out front tonight, breaking news, Hurricane Irma, a Category 5 monster on a collision course with Florida. The White House just issuing emergency declarations for this massive it looks that way to you, and it is. It is the second most powerful storm ever recorded in the Atlantic Ocean. The satellite image is just as ominous. The National Hurricane Center calls it, quote, a potentially catastrophic storm. Wind stronger clocking in at 190, and this storm is not yet near land. It could go faster. 
Florida Governor Rick Scott. Here is the track, and this is what we're, uh, is very difficult for us right now. All guidance shows that it is going to make a hard right, hard right turn. This is happening sometime in the early morning hours Saturday. If it happens earlier, it is going to cut just along the eastern, sea, uh, eastern shore of Florida. If it turns a little bit later, it's going to slam right into Florida. So Florida certainly needs to be doing everything watching this right now. That said, if it skips just to the east of this, it's going to stay over water and probably go in towards Georgia or South Carolina. So we're been a lot of talk about Florida right now, guys. If you're in Georgia, South Carolina, you need to be keeping an eye on this as well because it is very possible that the storm just stays offshore and goes in towards that area. We cannot tell at this point. We won't know probably for about another day and a half exactly when we expect to see that turn happen. Well, one of the biggest questions, where exactly will the eye of the storm make landfall? As of now, forecasters say the storm will slam the keys, then move up Florida's west coast. Look at how well-defined that eye is right now. That right there is a strengthening storm. And the National Hurricane Center is saying we're going to go up to a Category 4 yet again. I am warning the United States. Nina onya by Marakani. There is a big storm from the Atlantic. Kuna windi kubwa sana kutoka Atlantic. Tremendous flood. Magarika makubwa. I see thousands and millions running away. Again this night, in the sky again, he drew again the map of America. And yesterday he spoke again of increase. He took me into their houses in the spirit. And I was in the houses and it was raining on us. So much rain was entering with wind. So people were being removed from their, where they are. People were being removed. They were being removed from their houses, being thrown out. You see that? Get out, get out, evacuated by force. You see that? Because of tremendous floods. The emergency care people announced people get evacuate, evacuate with, with microphones announcing. Evacuate, evacuate. So this is what is coming to the United States of America.
Hamilton here. You are in a mandatory evacuation zone. Please evacuate. This really captures the urgency, Wolf. Of the uh, of the situation where police squad cars are now going door to door telling people to evacuate. This is now a mandatory evacuation zone. We're in West Palm Beach on South Flagler Drive, and they're going door to door. A lot of people here telling us they're going to ride it out. This is the final plea for them not to do that. Attention! Attention! You are in a mandatory evacuation zone. Please evacuate. And a lot of these houses here will have pretty solid structures and people think they can ride it out, but these guys are telling them don't take that chance going door to door here. They want people off the roads by tomorrow, so they're trying to get them on the roads now and just doing it in the loudspeaker. You can, I'll let you listen to them again as they go door to door and sometimes they'll actually stop and talk to people who are happen to be, you know, happening to be out and, uh, and who might stop and ask them questions. Robin, good morning to you. We are evacuating live here on GMA because we are joining more than 10, tens of thousands of people who are evacuating right now or who have evacuated already. Because we are looking at these major highways, only two of them take you from south to north. We're talking about I-95 and the Florida Turnpike. When you're talking about more than a million people on the road potentially asked to evacuate, that's a lot of people, that's a lot of traffic. I-75 will take you west, so that's one other road that'll take you up through the west side. So we're only talking about three major roads for more than a million people. You could expect a lot of traffic, Robin. More than a million people there are under those mandatory evacuation orders. Here in Miami, mandatory evacuations are underway. For those looking to evacuate by air, American Airlines says it will wind down operations on Friday afternoon in Southern Florida. CBS 4 News live team coverage as South Florida prepares for Irma. We begin with CBS 4's Ted Scouten live in Marathon. Ted. Tourist evacuations here in the Keys begin tomorrow at 7 a.m. That is going to be followed at 7 p.m. by resident evacuations. Mandatory evacuations are already in effect for the Florida Keys. Highways are jam-packed this morning across the state of Florida. At least nine counties are issuing full or partial mandatory evacuations. It's at about 25,000 people have already evacuated the Keys. Tonight, mandatory evacuation orders in effect. Businesses boarding up. Thousands cramming onto US-1, the only way out. We're evacuating. Five's a little too scary. People in South Florida are running out of time to evacuate before Irma makes landfall in Florida. I'm a student here in Miami. Uh, we've been told that we have to evacuate the city. Especially in areas like the Florida Keys. They are under a mandatory evacuation order. All three hospitals in the Keys are evacuating and will be closed by Friday morning. Key West International Airport will shut down later today. A mandatory evacuation order is in effect for visitors and the roughly 80,000 people who live here. Emergency managers are ordering that tourists begin their evacuation at sunrise. For the first time in 51 years, she's evacuating. I'm not staying for Irma. 1.4 million people live in Florida's mandatory evacuation areas. Good morning. More than 700,000 people here in Miami-Dade County are under a mandatory evacuation order. Gridlock has gripped roads from Miami to Orlando as tens of thousands scramble to evacuate. Governor Rick Scott has issued evacuation orders across the state. In Fort Myers tonight, police have been putting out the word to those who live in mobile homes to make that evacuation order and to let people know now is the time to go. The police were here and they said, uh, it's a uh, evacuation over here. Fort Myers police spent the morning going door to door, evacuating people out of Poinsettia. This evacuation order is extremely serious. If you plan on evacuating, we'll have a list of hurricane safe shelters on our website. And coastal areas around the city, including Fort Lauderdale and the Florida Keys are under mandatory evacuation order. Hundreds of thousands of people along Miami's South Beach have been evacuated. And Category 5 storm forcing mandatory evacuations in the Florida Keys. We could see an evacuation of more than 1.2 million people. And that evacuation, the window to get out, is narrowing each hour. A mandatory evacuation order has been issued for visitors to the Florida Keys. People who live on the islands will be evacuated later this week.
Thousands of Pinellas County residents forced to evacuate their homes. For Safety Harbor and Olds Bar, the official word is you have two days to evacuate. Mandatory evacuations apply to Zone A. And more evacuations kicking in today. Tens of thousands of people have already evacuated. Mandatory evacuation orders in effect. Mandatory evacuations there starting today. Preparing to start evacuating tourists tomorrow. Some areas in Palm Beach County are now under mandatory evacuations. People living on the island of Palm Beach will have to evacuate evacuate tomorrow. Palm Beach County has issued a mandatory evacuation. Many areas across South and Central Florida are already under mandatory evacuation orders. In Georgia, Governor Nathan Deal is still urging 540,000 people living along the coast to evacuate. In one of the country's largest evacuations, that everyone needs to evacuate, whether you're a visitor or you're a resident. The Category 5 storm forcing mandatory evacuations in the Florida Keys. See an evacuation of more than 1.2 million people. And that evacuation, the window to get out, is narrowing each hour. In the Florida Keys this morning, a steady stream of cars heading north. As of 6 a.m., all tourists were told to leave ahead of Hurricane Irma. It was one-way traffic on the interstates out of Miami today. In their hundreds of thousands, people here are heeding the warnings and leaving town. The administrator of Monroe County, which covers the Florida Keys, couldn't have been clearer with his instruction to residents. Hurricane Irma, which looks like it's going to be a really bad one, is a storm of enormous destructive power. And I ask everyone in the storm path to heed all instructions, get out of its way. And government officials, I know you're working so hard. You'll never work like this. And I appreciate also your bravery. Property is replaceable, but lives are not. And safety has to come first. Don't worry about it. Just get out of its way. Is life threatening? This is not a storm you can sit and wait through. Residents heeding that advice, though, are sitting and waiting in long lines at gas stations. And already, the U.S. authorities have ordered everyone living in the very vulnerable area of Key West to leave. If I'm crazy, if I'm crazy. If I'm crazy, if I'm crazy. So this is what is coming to the United States of America. At least 11 hospitals and 142 health care facilities have already closed in Florida.
people run into the hills. And this stress consumes the land. And a lot of running. It is shocking itself. I see um, the United States of America. There was a big panic. The emergency care people announced people get evacuated, evacuated with, with, with microphones announcing. More than 6 million Floridians ordered to evacuate, at least 54,000 in 320 shelters across the state. This massive shelter is almost at capacity. For many of these evacuees, it was a desperate scramble once they realized Irma was on its way and they had few options. The line stretched for what seemed like an eternity, wrapping around the Germain Arena outside Fort Myers, the last scramble to seek shelter. Are they going to let us inside? Nobody's giving any information. We need to get the word out. Hey, you guys are going to come in. We need to know. For Gina Munoz, it's an agonizing wait. She can't help but think of her two grandkids. These are the lines. This is what I really want to show you. Just want to get something to eat. An ordeal shared by thousands of families as Irma roars through. More than 500 shelters throughout the state took in evacuees. Evacuees tell us that the power is out and the building is leaking. Sunday, her eyes swirling right across the Keys, packing 130 mile per hour winds. I don't have a radar in front of me, but I don't need one. Hurricane Irma is right over us right now. We barely need to hear the word of the Yeah. <laughs> 
continue to pick up, it actually looks, and I'm not exaggerating, you're apocalyptic behind me. <laughs> Further up the coast, water levels rose by two meters in just 90 minutes. Fog swirled around skyscrapers and roads were flooded. This is the situation right now. Around Breckel Bay, the water from the bay has started to go inside the buildings, the lobby of the buildings. But it's really pretty dangerous outside, to be honest with you. Nobody should be out. Nobody. All of a sudden now, I see something like a tornado, a cloud of tornado from heaven, from above the sky, hit and fumed like a, like a cloud, like a funnel of cloud. And then all of a sudden, it became water flooding, water flooding, people running to the hills. But now look, I see something like a tornado, a cloud of tornado from heaven, from above the sky, hit that soil, and I see the dust. I do not know whether it is the dust that came up and fumed like a, like a cloud, like a funnel of cloud. So there is a tremendous distress that is coming. A wonder in the United States of America, all of a sudden, out of the ground gushes. I don't know whether the cloud came from above and hit it fast. It looks more like a cloud came from above and hit the place. The place where the star. But out of the ground gushes dust, black dust. And a lot of running begins. It is shocking itself. A lot of dust, so the Lord put me already there. The Lord has taken me to the future, already lived that day. So we begin to run. I begin to run also for my life. There was a big panic. We were running for our lives. And uh, as we were running, as the dust, the dust was coming our way, from that place where the trees were, was the hill there, the settlement, when the big cloud from above came and hit the soil, a huge black dust, and columns and, 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 and waves of black dust began to float towards us. We began to run away. So there is a tremendous distress that is coming. A wonder in the United States of America.
方亮，他是。It is miles of destruction, house after house, block after block, roofs torn off, boats on the road and RVs mangled in trees. Irma's path of destruction cut through the Florida Keys. 
Residents in Isla Mirada, who didn't evacuate, came out to look at the damage. This was a, a big part of my life for 15 years I've lived here, and, and uh, it's just, you know, in one moment it's gone. So you see. With such widespread damage below, some of the keys are only accessible by air. There's so much debris in the ocean, even reaching this location by boat can be dangerous. Tonight, the National Guard deploying search and rescue missions into the Keys. Local officials say a humanitarian crisis is looming in the lower islands. Big Pine and Kudjo Keys among those hardest hit. No water, no food, no phone. For the residents of the Sea Breeze trailer park on Isla Mirada, this was a slice of tropical paradise. Now it lays in ruins, obliterated by one of the most powerful hurricanes to ever bear down on this chain of islands. And now it's left a sea of destruction. This is one of our very first looks at some of the damage and it really does stretch neighborhood to neighborhood, homes in the water, boats in the water. Tonight this is the way in to the hardest hit islands in the Keys. Irma's path of destruction obliterating homes, swamping neighborhoods and likely taking lives. And the view from above gives a good look at the extent of the damage right now. At this marina, a number of boats sank thanks to the crashing waves and wind. Small buildings were flattened by hurricane force wind gusts. Look at the boats over here. They are sitting not in water, but in mud. These are the pilings for the old bridge, uh, Highway 41 here, that people here haven't seen for years, decades maybe. That was destroyed. You can now see the pilings here along that bridge. There's the new bridge there.
And there is a big storm. Na kuna wimbi kubwa pia. Coming from the ocean. Na kuja toka kwa bahari. Another big storm. Wimbi nyingine kubwa sana. Is coming on to the United States of America. Inashuka juu ya majimbo ya umoja ya Marekani. From the Atlantic Ocean. Kutoka kwa bahari ya Atlantic. A lot of floods. Magaragarika ya hali ya juu. The Lord is calling for repentance. Bwana anaitisha toba.
Hurricane Maria has just made landfall in Puerto Rico. And good morning, everyone. 631 on the East Coast. We're coming on the air right now because Hurricane Maria has made landfall on Puerto Rico. Hurricane Maria slamming into the island, and as you heard, one official saying the island is destroyed. And the satellite image tonight showing Maria's massive size dwarfing the island. No part of it was spared. Tonight, Maria's direct hit devastating Puerto Rico. The first Category 4 storm to strike Puerto Rico in 85 years, slamming ashore around sunrise. Roofs peeled from buildings, debris flying, structures collapsing. Up to 30 inches of rain in some areas, engulfing whole neighborhoods. Hurricane Maria's winds made quick work of Puerto Rico's trees and roofs. Torrential rain has flooded streets. Maria made landfall early Wednesday on Puerto Rico's southeast coast as a powerful Category 4. Then spent the day clobbering the rest of the island. It showed little mercy. Tonight, Maria's destructive path is only starting to become clear. Swaths of Puerto Rico underwater. Roads turned to raging rivers. Roofs ripped off. Trees toppled. Cars overturned. Power out to virtually the entire island. Have you ever seen anything like this? Me? Never. This man says he feared for his life. As the relentless storm slammed into his home this morning as a ferocious Category 4 hurricane. The situation here in San Juan is dire. The winds here have been intensifying and the worst is yet to come. We have sought shelter in a concrete structure that as you can see it is a scene of utter chaos. It is from the sky from which Hurricane Maria came that you can see most clearly the damage she caused here. This is Toa Baja, under 10 feet of water yesterday, less today, which allowed the rescues to begin. Tell me what the last 24 hours have been like. Hell, this has just been horrible. a lot of police officers trying to evacuate people by force from their beds where they're sleeping people running for their clothes i see a woman is hanging a cloth 
and she's running for her life. People are being woken up to run because the flood, the storm, the broken loose. Tens of thousands of residents in Puerto Rico have been ordered to evacuate. So they've evacuated about 70,000 people from two towns. Officials rushing to evacuate 70,000 people. They brought in buses to try to evacuate those that cannot evacuate themselves. We understand those ongoing evacuations are uh, continuing. Evacuations orders issued for four areas of Puerto Rico. A dam in Puerto Rico is failing and forcing two towns to evacuate. Essentially what they're doing is evacuating Puerto Rican. Evacuation orders have been issued for four areas of Puerto Rico. And prompting an emergency evacuation. event of devastation in the modern history of Puerto Rico. Uh, it's a perfect storm, if you will. Right now, you don't have a home. No, exactly. I don't have a home right now. It's desperation. People just start getting antsy and crazy, and you, you can't reach anybody, and you go to the airport, and they're telling you this flight, that flight. You, you get canceled five times. Right now, I am warning the United States there is a big storm from the Atlantic coming through the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf and coming and oh hallelujah. Tremendous flood. Let us repent and go back to Jesus. And I've seen a massive storm that is coming through the Gulf of Mexico to hit the United States. Tremendous storm. News alert. Overnight, Hurricane Nate making landfall twice as a Category 1 hur hurricane. Making landfall twice on the Gulf Coast overnight as a Category 1 hurricane. This morning, we're starting to get our first look at some of the damage left behind. In one common sight, a lot of flooding from the rain. Now, the storm made its second landfall outside Biloxi, Mississippi. That made Nate the first hurricane to make landfall in Mississippi since Katrina. The storm made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane with 85 mile an hour winds in the mouth of the Mississippi River. This is a nighttime storm. Nighttime storms kill people. 
Mississippi Governor Bryant warned of an 11 to 13 foot storm surge in some areas. Hurricane Nate then picked up speed through the Gulf of Mexico before making landfall on the southeastern coast of the United States with winds of more than 150 kilometers an hour. It, is it was pounded by wind and heavy rain when Nate made its second landfall on the Gulf Coast and now it is dealing with storm surge. This is the first hurricane to make landfall in Mississippi since Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The president has signed this emergency declaration already ordering federal aid. Nate continued to leave streets and highways flooded in Mississippi and Alabama. Nate made its initial landfall near the mouth of the Mississippi River Saturday evening and a second landfall early Sunday near Biloxi. the Golden Nugget Casino and the storm surge has completely engulfed the first floor here. Just take a look out the window. There's still waves coming in. We're currently in the calm center. We're in the eye. So I need to get back to the safety of our shelter. The water is starting to rise. It's starting to buckle these doors in. There's water coming inside the lobby already. Storm surge is starting to fill inside the lobby. You can see out there. Repent! 
and they shall know now what I do, uh? that the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Listen to me, Atlantic Ocean. And your waves shall fail to stop until they repent. And it shall be known that Jehovah is God. Hurricane Irene, a huge storm impacting millions of people along the coast. Hurricane Irene is moving in for what could be the most powerful hurricane to hit the East Coast in seven years. along the Jersey Shore.